So I had an iMac 2008 with Linux on it. I put on Solus OS. Solus OS stopped. Well, they're they're still updating, but the updating was getting such to where I was erroring out or my Wi-Fi was erroring out. I ended up having to delete programs such as Firefox and LibreOffice because they could never get past the update. So I decided I was going to put a different Linux on it, put Debian. I like Debian. If you have an iMac and put Linux on it of the 2008 range, read up on it and make sure you get the proper program so you can get into basically what amounts to Mac's version of BIOS. I could not get into that, and I could not reinstall Linux on it. But inside the iMac, because I had received this from a computer friend, computer, I'll call him a computer geek. He's a computer geek and a pastor like me. There was an SSD card, SSD drive, I should say. And so I YouTubed the video on how to take it apart to get the SSD drive out. Basically, there was a problem with the iMac but not the SSD drive, obviously. So, wanted to get that out. Then I was gonna put it in a different computer. My dad keeps towers of old computers downstairs at his house, so I went there, got out one of his towers, plugged in Debian, it worked, but there was no hard drive in it. So then I did all the process of getting that SSD drive out of the MacBook, went to go put in the tower. The, la the computer was so old that it takes IDE drives. Now I say that like I know what it means, but I just figured what, out that, what that means tonight. However, whenever I put in Debian and I ran it on the live, it's USB boot. It was moving pretty fast and snappy for the hardware. So I went back and forth between just waiting until I found a better computer that has a SATA related motherboard or I decided, you know what? I went and found a $15 250 gig IDE hard drive and I ordered it. I'll let you know how things go. Maybe you've seen the name of this video, my title card, and you've been wondering. You're saying Debian, though. Yeah. I tried Debian. As you can see, it loaded up. What you didn't see is how slow it moved whenever it loaded up. I could show you, but that's really not worth your time. Basically, I brought up the browser, and I was able to go somewhere, but then the browser got stuck, and then the menu got stuck. So, I knew that XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment. I am a Debian guy. I wanted to go get... Debian XFCE. It's probably still on my laptop from the last time I downloaded it. But however, uh, I already knew that I had a flash drive of MX Linux. And I've used MX Linux before on my computers back whenever I was having trouble with my iMac and I was wondering if it just wasn't recognizing certain distributions. <clears throat> I tried to download some other um, distributions, couldn't get them to work. But I thought, well, what the heck, I'll put this in and see if it worked. And I found out it does work. And it works amazingly pretty good for the hardware that's on this device. So, let's take a look. I'm still on the live boot, so I won't be doing much until I get the hard drive, but just to give you an idea of what to do, what's it like here, let me connect to the internet. Don't know how much you can hear, but boy, you can hear that purring. I'm gonna load up Firefox here. So you can just see 
I clicked it twice so you can just see how fast it's moving. There you go. Let's see if we can get an about so you can see what this computer is about. So, this is kind of uh, what I'm running on here. See, I have no drive storage. You can see my printers already. Kind of fast loading that up. Not super fast, I don't know. All right, so there's the first live boot look around. I'll uh, take another video whenever I put this on install and then I'll take a final video, hopefully with the simple screen recorder app if it works on this.